smaller ditches that are only like a foot deep, I'm like, okay, that's a gutter. <laughs> Ran off the road into a field. Okay. Yeah, with those roads up there, Mom... With, the, with how curvy those roads are up there, I don't feel comfortable driving the speed limit on those, personally. Like, even in the middle of the day, bright sunlight, I'm like, mm-mm. I don't even... Those 35-mile-an-hour curves, I'm taking it like 25. Because I am not confident in making a turn like that. I don't understand how their speed limits are so high on some of those turns. It's crazy. All right, what's what's my sleepy time look like? You don't have ditches like that in Denmark? Yeah, there's ditches in Texas where, like, if you go off the side of the road, you've got, like, a four-foot drop into a just a ditch that goes along the whole road. No crash barriers in the U.S.? There are crash barriers. It's just not on, not on, you know, little tiny county roads. Yeah, not out in the country. Okay, where are we going now? Well, there's only one set of presents here. So I guess we're taking these back to Fihonix from Vistaprint. Matt, why don't you why won't you show us these ditches in game? Texas is not in the game yet. Once they introduce Texas in the game, I'm going to spend the majority of my time in Texas. Trust me. You told Jan no more night driving? That's a good idea, Mom. I'm glad you're safe. That had me nervous. <laughs> Patch 1.31 added Texas ditches. <laughs> I can guarantee you, as soon as they announce that the Texas DLC is coming... I will write down the release date and make sure I have it on release day. That's definitely going to happen. Because Texas, yo! I'm going to go buy a garage in my home city. Relocate myself to my home city garage. And start driving around there. Stream at normal EU times? You don't even live in the EU. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Same time zones. What EU time zone are you in? Because I would have thought Israel would be in the same time zone as, like, Moscow. No, that's way too far east. Israel's probably in the same time zone as Poland? If I had to guess. Two days until Christmas for you? Our Christmas is on Monday. GMT plus two. I think that's Poland. Christmas there is on the 24th. I, I'm going to make uh, cookies tomorrow. It's 4 a.m. in Poland. Do you ever play multiplayer? Not yet, but I'm very much interested in getting into it now. Another another ATS streamer 
does a lot of multiplayer stuff, and I want to drive around with him. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be doing some multiplayer soon, definitely. Yes, I did. On which date is Christmas in America? Uh, the 25th, which is two, uh, Monday. No, Sunday. Texas Vet, yeah. It is 25th is Monday? Okay. We're just celebrating our Christmas on the 23rd. Oh, that's right. We're, selling, we're celebrating our Christmas early just because it's easier for us. But uh, no, Mom, I did not get your package yet. I'm going to check again tomorrow. I checked today, and I'm going to check again tomorrow. But by all means, you probably should open your package already. It is not wrapped inside because it is fragile. Uh, it's only half the gift. Yeah, it's only half the gift. So you can open that today because it's not something that you really want to wait on. You watched Texas Vet today? Yeah, I, I watched him a little bit while I was at work, too. What's Texas Vet? He's, uh, he's another trucker streamer. But yeah, open your package. Go ahead and open it now. I hope it showed up in good condition, because it is fragile. You're in his VTC and have many miles with him? That's awesome, dude. Did you already did you already switch VTCs to the new one that he just switched to like yesterday or today? I forget. I, I haven't looked into it yet. I need to follow the links that he posts at the bottom of his stream to do like multiplayer and all that. Virt I think it's virtual truck company. Not club. But yeah, I'm definitely interested in, in getting in on one of his uh, convoy streams and stuff like that. He seems like a totally chill guy. My, my kind of dude. He said he was going to go to PAX South 2018, and I told him we were going to 2019. So I told him if he's going to end up going to 2019, I definitely want to meet up with him and say, hey. Hey, mom. Mom's response, you remembered. Of course I remembered, Mom. It's just the last two or three years, I couldn't find them. I even went to a Mexican bakery and asked them to make some, and they wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. So finally, this year, every year I would look for them. Real Texas Buñuelos. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Cappy walked into the into the grocery store and like right in the front door there was a huge display of them. So she was all like, buy some. <laughs> do you guys give anything oh, do you guys have any specific food for Christmas, like traditional? Me personally or Americans? Americans in general usually eat either turkey or ham on Christmas. That tends to be the most quote-unquote traditional. See, I don't know. The car, the truck just started reversing there again for some reason. Like I slam on the brakes and then the car just immediately hauls ass in reverse for like no apparent reason. But for us, no. Oh, but I'm sorry. Yes, we don't. You guys specifically, he says. Okay. We don't. Uh, we don't really have any kind of traditional food uh, that we eat. Uh, this year, we're going to have um, um, chicken, right? Yeah, we're having, well, for all intents and purposes, it's shake and bake chicken with stuffing on the side. And I guess stuffing is more or less traditional. Stuffing is a kind of a traditional our, thing. Our tradition for Thanksgiving and Christmas is we just eat a meal with my mom and then we watch a movie 
like at her house. That's our our tradition isn't really what food, it's just the spending time with family. Am I on automatic? Yes. I do not have a gear shifter, and I'm also lazy. <laughs> so yes, my truck is on automatic. I have a... Hold on. Let's go into photo mode. I have a, a Volvo DLC truck. How do I go up? Okay. Those are reversed. I would have put those the other way. If you're on simple automatic, that's the issue. Because when you slam on the brakes, it thinks you want to reverse. Oh, really? Our presents are wrapped? Okay, Mom. Thank you. But yeah, I have a I have a really cool purple Volvo with like a chameleon teal colored circuitry thing. Really like that look. Love it. I was hoping to get a international Lone Star truck, but I the the mod I found doesn't work. It crashes the game when you try to load into the dealership that's supposed to have it. So I think it's just out of date. What did you get him? <laughs> You trying to get mom to spoil Christmas? See you later, Shadow. If you do regular automatic, you have to switch it into reverse and drive just like in real life. Really? Hold on. Options. Uh, controls. Simple automatic. Real automatic. So if if I slam into rev if I slam on the brakes, the truck will stop, and then I would have to tap reverse again to go into reverse? Is that correct? I have rabies and you don't. Well, don't bite me. Because that's how I would like it. That's how I thought this worked anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I, I use uh, something like that. Okay. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't another key press I had to do somewhere else. I can bypass the way station good. Yeah, I use keyboard and mouse because I don't have a steering wheel. I don't have uh, a shifter. I don't have pedals. I don't have any of that. A good steering wheel, a good base steering wheel pedals shifter set is like 300 bucks. That's pricey. Well, especially since you're just playing it every now and then. Yeah, it, yeah, this is also, this is not my primary game. It's just, I just play this for fun. So, I play this periodically, so I'm not going to spend $300 on a wheel. Does Squirrel have a wheel? Squir squirrel? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Squirrel has a wheel. Absolutely. Squirrel's wheel is probably like a $1,000 wheel. But he plays other games besides trucking games that also use the wheel. Like, he plays farm sims and stuff like that. First 200 hours in this game, you were also on keyboard and mouse? How much time do I have in the game? Yeah, 77 hours in this game, and I've probably got about 150 hours in Euro Truck. What's a squirrel wheel? Oh, no. S <laughs> squirrel is another Twitch streamer that does... Uh, he does a lot of Euro Truck and American Truck. He does all other simulator games as well. This game would stress you out if you played it. Why is that? Like, I was watching... Um, I have rabies. Got it. So weird to say your name. Uh, I was watching a Texas vet the other day in one of his convoy streams, and he had somebody that was driving with him, and he was like, that guy's driving on with a keyboard and mouse. And I saw the dude like doing this number back and forth on the road, and I was like, if he's driving with a keyboard and mouse, he sucks. It's not that hard. Why is he that wild? It's not that hard to drive with keyboard and mouse, man. I don't know who the guy was, but whoever he, whoever Texas Vet said was with the keyboard was all over the place. And I was just like, dude, just gentle taps, that's all you need. You've played 155 hours of ETS 2. Thanks, Sidian. Oh... David would be stressed out because he wouldn't like to just... He feels like he would be wasting time playing a game like this when you could be doing something else more productive. I get that. I can see where you're coming from because this game does have 
I mean, there's not a lot of action, you know? So, if this is not a type of game you're into, it's going to feel really slow all the time. Whoops, i got to pay attention to the road. Like watching someone play this game? <laughs> True enough, David. Wrecked. <laughs> I actually need to go through Squirrel's uh, mod list. You have about 700 hours in ATS? Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. That's impressive. Now, once they release Texas, my hours in ATS are going to go up a lot. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to release uh, one of the DLCs that they just released for Euro Truck, for American Truck. They just released a, uh, God, what did they call it? Escort DLC, where you get escort vehicles in front and behind you that, that force traffic off the road so you can take uh, extremely large loads. Special cargo, thank you. Um... I'm waiting for the special cargo to be released for ATS, because that would be awesome. Since they're on the same engine, I'm pretty sure it's probably not far behind. They're probably just making sure that they get all of the routes mapped out ahead of time. Because since the AI has to move traffic off of the road, uh, you're going to have specific routes, because the AI is automatically going to choose a route for you. I like the streams. It's super chill after a hard day's work. That's p that's part of the reason why uh, why I like doing American Truck Sim periodically. Is it's it's a very relaxing, just kind of chill. You had a difficult day, or you're really tired, and you don't want to do like a lot of uh, a lot of thinking. You just jump into ATS and play for a couple hours. Yeah, I I get that rabies. Um, and I, I definitely understand where they're coming from. I also appreciate the fact that they're slowly making ATS and ETS as identical as possible so that when they release a DLC or fix a functionality in one, they could easily port it to the other. That's why I'm saying the special delivery uh, DLC, uh, the special cargo DLC, may not have originally been made for ATS, it may have been made for ETS 2, but migrating it to ATS won't take them nearly as long. No, go ahead. Oh yeah, mom, let me know when you eat, when you, when you try one of those Buñuelos, if they're actually the quality that you remember. Because if not, next time I'll do some hunting and actually go to, like, multiple Mexican bakeries until I find one. These were obviously not made in a Mexican bakery, but... Aw, oh, Knightley. Knightley says, I'm here for Matt and Cappy, not for the game. Aw, yay. <laughs> like with a snow mod, no snow mod for ATS. I wish somebody would make a... The mod I would love someone to make is an active weather mod that spools off to, I don't know, like weather.com or something to find out what the weather is like in a particular region and then modifies the weather to match. So if it's raining in an area, you can drive to the area in ATS and it'll be raining. Or if it's snowing, you could drive there and it'd be snowing. Um, I get that, that the time of day is a little wonky, but you could always just have it to real time as opposed to game time. <laughs> Nightly, oh, gay, is such an amazing response. I want to start using that. Okay, okay, David, here's the thing. The phrase, you could write that yourself, is technically correct, except for the fact that you're saying you in reference to me. I couldn't write that myself.
halfway through one now. It tastes heavenly. Although these are nice and crisp, my favorite kinds are toothy in the center. I'm assuming you mean they're more chewy as opposed to crisp oh, in the middle? They would be a little thicker. Yeah, these were very, very thin. Did you know gay is just another word for happy? In other languages, yes. I mean, technically it was here, too. Yeah, that's true. Gay here was another term for happy as well. Your mom eats teeth? <laughs> no. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. I know they had the ones that like H-E-B, but we never, we didn't really, because we never bought those. We didn't stop and look at those to see the quality. They, yeah, the, the ones, the ones that H-E-B might have been higher quality. So, I'm so gay at Christmas. Isn't everyone? I could look into making a mod, something like that. I'm not... I personally am not very good at programming. I took one programming class in college, and I aced it. But I wasn't good at, like, the intellectual parts of programming. Like the, uh... I, fr I, I don't exactly know how to word this properly, but the the artistic way of finding solutions to problems so that programming is easier, I'm not good at that. Like, I can follow programming instructions and write a program and do modifications to it once I've learned what's going on, but it takes a little while to get the logic down. See, that's the part I don't have a problem with. I don't have a problem with the logic. I have a problem with developing it from my, yeah, design. I have a problem with design. Logic is not an issue for me. It's the design part. It feels like programming, while being a technical thing, is more of a artsy kind of technical, in a way. It's It kind of sounds weird, but I think for people that have done programming, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, it is technical, but... In the technical field, like in IT, we make fun of programmers all the time. <laughs> Not because we don't like programmers, per se. It's just like programmers and people that work in the hardware side of technology uh, are like on two different levels. They're, they're, they're not the same. A lot of people think they're the same. Like, oh, you work with computers, right? Perfect. Hook my printer up. No. Coders create, they're pretty darn artsy. Yeah. I wouldn't say, programmers are not stupid. They're just, they think of things in a different way than I would, personally. If I, if I, like, dedicated time to learning how to program, I could, I'm pretty confident I could be good at it. I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt took you serious. I didn't really take you seriously. I didn't think you were being serious. I knew you were joking. But, uh... Neither programmers nor hardware guys are beneath each other. They're just completely different ways uh, of looking at one or the other. Programmers, in general, aren't usually that, that savvy with hardware. Hardware guys, in general, aren't usually that savvy with programming. I've always said, in, from my personal experience, um, in my personal experience, I, I put three major groups in IT. I put hardware guys, I put programmers and I put I put networking. And I've I've always said that you uh, most IT guys are good at two of them and not the third from my personal experience. So like I'm really good at hardware, I'm really good at networking. You put me in front of a program and I'm just like I don't know what I'm doing. And 
I feel really dumb the whole time because I'm like, I'm IT, I should, I can follow the logic, but I have no idea what the hell's going on. And I've met guys that are really good at programming and really good at networking, and they can't build a computer from parts to save their life. So, I'm sure there are people out there that are good at all three, but those are like, those are your golden few that work in like really high-end jobs that don't, that don't live in my city. <laughs> they don't live here. They go to like Austin and get higher, pay, higher paying jobs. Like, I know what I'm bad at. I'm bad at programming. I can get somebody else to do that. You want me to build your server rack and, you know, get your SAN connected to your, uh, your, um, virtual host controller? I got gotcha. you. You want me to write a little program that will, like, repeat the time every 30 minutes? Ugh. No. Next time a family member asks me to fix their computer, I'm sending them to this stream. No. <laughs> Fucking David. See, David is really good at programming. David's done some really good programming stuff. Programmers are the ace fighter pilots of IT. I wouldn't argue that, really. They do a very dangerous job that I would not want to do. My worst nightmare is when I get a trouble ticket in my IT job that says so-and-so is having problems with their SQL server. And I'm just like, I, I don't want to touch SQL. I don't. I don't want to do it. There's a reason that SQL database administrators get, like, six-figure starting salaries. Because I don't want to fuck with it. That looks like a nightmare. Ugh. Cappy. What? Mom said, please tell Cappy that I thank both of you from the bottom of my tummy. Aww. Yay. Programmers are weak and nerdy and run out of breath going upstairs. I'm weak. I'm weak and nerdy. And ha run out of breath going up half a flight of stairs. SQL people are hardly programmers. Well, some of them are. Database admins don't have to be programmers per se, but... You think that's IT in general? Well, you're not wrong. Most IT guys are, at least to some extent, out of shape nerdy dudes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm fine with that. Although there's a couple of guys I work with that are like really in shape. Well, two. I say a couple. It's exactly two. You got an ass that composes like 80% of your body weight? You're going to be winded walking through the grocery store? Wow. He's not wrong. I do have that badonkadonk. <laughs> Thanks, Cappy. You're welcome. Got a bubble butt. Did Matt say badonkadonk? Yes. Yes, he did. What I'm saying is you're not weak. You have, you just have a legit reason to run out of breath. Matt got that ass. He do. <sighs> Apparently my dude is getting tired. Uh, my delivery is 42 minutes away and I need to sleep in an hour and three minutes. Looks like we timed this just right. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. That's lit fan bay. Thanks, man. <laughs> I 
time. <laughs> All right, David. Thanks for hanging out, dude. We'll see you around, man. Oh man, I'm starting to get sleepy myself. David can only sleep when he's offended enough people. S -s 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 what the hell is that word? What's that word, Sidian? Tuckus? That's not Tuckus. It means bye. Okay. Uh, no. Like, bye! Hey, thanks, all these new followers that are showing up. If you guys are interested, I have a Discord server. Exclamation point Discord in the chat. As well as a Twitter and a YouTube account. Both of those are exclamation point Twitter and exclamation point YouTube as well. If not, it's all good. Hey, thanks, Dragon. Getting that Discord link out there. Appreciate it, dude. Don't cut me off. Oh my god. I thought that guy was going to cut me off. Alright, let's pull into Walmart and see what other kind of jobs we got here. What's that other email? Oh, hey, this cop's going to let me go. Thanks, dude. Where do you want me to park? Ugh. Uh, let's try it. This is not the direction I would want to come from to make this park, but we'll give it a shot. Just drag across these pillars. Come on, dude. Ugh, ugh. You watch other streamers and just spam Mindy's? Well, I mean, don't do that. Go ahead and spread the Mindy love, but don't spam it. I don't want people coming over here and being all like, dude, you need to tell your fans to calm the fuck down. Okay, good, I'm free. Did I damage the trailer? Yep. Awesome. Spread our Mindy Overlord. Okay, how, how do I go? <gasps> Mindy! Yay! Hi, everybody! I'm Mindy! Alright, I have no idea how to switch into reverse now. How do I... How do I reverse? Maybe I'll just switch back to... That's controls. I need... Uh... Keys. Shift down, control, oh. Yeah, let me see that Mindy Herd from everybody who subscribed. Oh wow, this is weird. 
Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm going to like that. The multiplayer mod is only the vanilla game and no workshop items can be used. DLC works, however. Hey, Cappy showed up to, to spam some Mindy's. Yeah. Thanks, Cappy. All right, we're going to switch back to uh, simple because I'm not going to remember control and shift. I'd rather just deal with going into reverse. Let's save real quick. Spam them Mindy's. What? All right. So real quick, let's check for another. Phoenix to Reno is a really long job. I need a shorter job. Fresno. Albuquerque's not too bad. Let's go for. Uh, where's uh, root length shortest internal to phoenix all right let's find the shortest one that delivers the presence here we go phoenix to albuquerque okay hey sidian thanks for the six bits man <laughs> nightly banning all of you you better not <laughs> This one's a longer distance, but takes less time because I don't have to go to California. That seems about right. Sidian with the 90 bits. It looks like uh, there's a low amount that's not being, that's not getting a notification. Maybe it's like, I need to go look at my settings I set it so that nothing under 100 plays an audio file. But uh, the anything under 100 should still get an on-screen notification. However, he donated 90. It got an on-screen notification, but 6 didn't. So it seems like there's another level there. It seems like there's another level that's preventing on-screen notifications as well. I'm going to need to check that. I need to go here. Nightly is Yoda confirmed. Speaking of Yoda, I'm going to go watch Star Wars again on Christmas Day. So Christmas Day in the morning, Central Time... There will not be a stream in the morning, morning and early afternoon. Revealed my identity is. Okay. Nightly, Nightly's cool factor went up a little bit right there. From zero to two? <laughs> That's wrong. It's over 9,000. Is that a thing? I know it's a thing. I'm just joking. All right. Kenworth dealership. Let's get over here and do a little bit of repairs. And then we'll take a quick nap. And then go pick up that last job. All right, service, repair the truck. Okay. Dude, I have 500 grand. I'm going to need to spend that, start spending that soon. Upgrade another... Uh... Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to park right here. We're going to drink some NyQuil. NyQuil will help you get your Z's. Was that NyQuil? That wasn't NyQuil. That was... Nightfall. That was Nightall. There you go. 
All right, let's look at company manager, drivers. He's on balance, that's fine. Balance is fine. Balanced, also fine. That's fine. Oh, the dog in my truck. Yeah, it is kind of creepy. I, I won't argue that. Hey, everybody, Mindy's back. She was only here for a second last time, but now she's here for a month, another second. Yay! And she's gone. <laughs> Garage manager. I need another driver and truck for Reno. Let's do that real quick. Driver manager. Uh, recruitment agency. Hire driver. Dude, that guy's got some distance. Let's get Istvan. Istvan. Let's hire that guy. Love Mindy. Oh, bye. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to go there. Now let's go buy that dude a truck. How many trucks do I have? Garage manager. Uh, Truck manager. Let's sort by brand. I need another Peterbilt 579. Okay, truck dealer, Peterbilt, online. I need a 579, this one, customize. Let's go with a, yep, that's fine. No, let's go with a standard. We're going to get a, we need a big tank. Go with the 6x4, 300. Need a good engine in it. Let's go with the 550 Cummins. 18 speed. Internal is fine. Paint job. Okay. What color should this truck be? Or should it have a specialty paint on it? Steel Beast. Mount Rushmore. Holy crap, that is America as fuck right there. <laughs> You liked that one? Yeah, it looks cool. It does look cool. Where's one of the other ones? Hot Rod. Come on, Hot Rod. Work your magic. Come on, Hot Rod. Work your magic. Oh, I my. Like that as well. Torn metal. That's, a, that's less America, but, but a better amount in my opinion. Monument Valley. U.S. Navy tribute? Oh, oh my no. God. Are you about to do that one? Thirty-one thousand for that paint job. Ooh. That looks very American, and cowboys. I think I'm gonna go with the Navy tribute. I'm shocked. I got too much family in the Navy. In the Navy. In the Navy. Okay, so this we're gonna go with standard. So those are gonna get painted. The bumper is bumper standard. That also gets painted. It looks better that way. Yeah, it looks better painted? Yeah. yeah. It's flags. Oh, yeah, we need hood mirrors. Let's go with the modern hood mirrors. Wait, these side... Where are the side mirrors? Is that the side mirror? Yeah, let's go with painted there. That looks good. Ooh. Handles need to be... I guess that's fine. Up here. Exclusive sun shield is not compatible with the light adapter. Yeah, let's go. Let's remove the light adapter. Okay. That's fine. That looks good. All right. What about them pipes? Gotta get the dualies. You were on a missile boat for a bit? That's awesome, dude. My brother, uh, my brother was on an aircraft carrier for the for a long time. That looks good. I think we'll go with that. Let's get that side mirror. 
You don't have aircraft? Well, yeah. There's not a whole lot of countries that do aircraft carriers. All right, we're going to get that one. Purchase. We're going to put it in Reno with I Istvan. Was that his name? Istvan? Well, dude, you're getting a sweet-ass Navy truck. All right, cool. And then I'm going to need to buy a new garage soon. Those two garages are maxed out. All right, driver manager, Istvan, balanced. That's fine. All right, cool. So we're going this way. We're going to take a right. And we're going to take a left down this side street because I haven't mapped it yet. In all honesty, of all the small nations, if any of the small nations were going to have aircraft carriers, I would say it would be Israel. Because Israel has, like, an amazing air force. Did he meet Picard? No. But where would we take the planes? Man, I don't know. It's a mobile uh, mobile airfield, really. I don't think y'all would actually take the planes anywhere. I figured y'all would just like leave it out in the water so that they it'd be more difficult for somebody to bomb it. I don't know. I didn't think that far through. <laughs> But yeah, it makes sense. Your cousin is a fighter pilot for the Danish army? That's awesome. Your cousin sounds like a cool dude. I need to get gas. Exclamation point past bedtime. Yeah, I know. So if it says 10 p.m., technically it is past my bedtime because it's going to be like 10 in one second. Matt's bedtime was 47 seconds ago. Oh, shit, son. Matt always has plenty of gas. Well, you're not lying. Somebody learned exactly what to do. Sebi's got it down, dude. He's like, where's Cappy? I need to fart. Is there no gas station nearby? There isn't. What the hell? What is Tylenol? A pain reliever? Yeah.
that's proper English. Doop de doop de doo. We're gonna turn right. That was completely legal. He lied. You like the flavor of my humor? It tastes yummy. Nom 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 nom. Excuse me, coming through. Fart humor. Dude, there is nothing funnier than fart humor, bro. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and call it here for the moment. Your mom said something bothering her. Make your pop doc. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a minute. I'll, uh, I'll hop onto your computer. Uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate it. All the new followers... Thank you guys for that. Once again, if you want to come hang out in our Discord server, exclamation point Discord in the chat. We'll get you a link. Feel free to come and hang out. You do not need to be subscribed to get into the Discord, so don't worry about it. But, I mean, there's a button there if you want to click on it. Uh, anyway, like I said, thanks for coming, and we'll see y'all next time.